The hosts of the show The Independence on Fox Business Network had on neoconservative and former UN ambassador John Bolton. This guy is one of the biggest war hawks ever. And they debated the Iraq War. Now remember, the independents are libertarians, so this got heated very quickly. I think President Bush did exactly the right thing in overthrowing Saddam Hussein, and it's kind of stunning to me to see you libertarians defending that dictatorship. Is, is no that what happened? No one's okay, defending the dictatorship. All right, now gloves are coming off, Ambassador. No, no, no one's defending the di dictatorship at all. The sure question. you are. No, absolutely as, not. As George no, Orwell. George Orwell, George Orwell once said Orwell of the accusers that line. He in World War II, he that said line. they were objectively pro-fascist. Yeah, you know, you should read Orwell beyond the diaries that he wrote in World War II and read yeah, how he... forbid. And his diaries don't read reflect that what he really afterwards. believed. Did it, he rejected they? that line. If you're going to use that Orwell, know your Orwell. He repudiated that line precisely because he knew that it didn't allow for proper understanding of the people that you he was talking to. You give me the to. citation. You give me the citation well, well, where he repudiated the quote about this okay, okay, talk about Iraq. I want to see the citation. distracted by questions, let's get, not get distracted here while we're having this discussion. Because there are some very critical questions that have to be answered. Right. I will and let I think, you start. I think Why the critical the question the is, critical one. explain to me why you believe Saddam Hussein should still be in power in Iraq today. I don't. He's dead. So let's move on. <laughs> well, well, no, I think part oh, of Let's move well, on. Oh, well, no, okay. Let's, how, about, how, about, how about this, Mr. Bolton? Why uh, is he dead? How about this, Mr. Bolton? Here's an issue uh, that I think you we need to reconcile the ourselves question. to. You can't answer sure, the question. Well, That's actually, why Bolton, you want to address Mr. Bolton, we, we asked you to come here. We're going to have a conversation. Matt has sort of given you an answer. If you'll allow me, I'd like to transition to something slightly different different based on what you just said. Go ahead. Excellent. You, saw, you talked about us not looking backwards, not paying attention to what happened before because we're faced with a number of choices now. It seems to me that the kind of decision that we might make may in fact be influenced by the fact that we've made certain decisions in the past and it hasn't worked out particularly well. There were in fact people in the administration who told us this would be a cakewalk, that we'd be greeted as liberators, who don't seem to understand the region nearly as well as they pretended that they did before the conflict began. And after the conflict has gone on for more than a decade, hundreds of thousands of lives expended at this point, sir. That, that is ridiculous. Hey, that is utterly okay, ridiculous. Okay, fine. What's your You're source still, on the hundreds I, of thousands me, of lives? Excuse you know, me, This, this plus is lives. a kind of big lie. That? No, this is no, a actually, big lie. Big lie. Let's say you it's don't a mistake. have a source for Let it. Me, then it, tell it, me actually, your source. Sir, again, the source. Tell me your source. Okay, the number no, is no, I'm going to stop you both right now. Hold on one second. Why don't you no, give me your source? Why don't you give me your number? If you're so accurate untrue. with your math, hold on a second. If you're so accurate with your math, why don't you give me a number? And why don't you justify that? So you're telling me a completely destabilized Iraq now is better than where it was in 2002? I I'm not responsible for Iraq today. That's because of what Barack Obama did That's in withdrawing that American troops. At the end there, that was the most important part. She absolutely checkmated him. She said, wait, 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 wait. Are you really going to sit there and say that Iraq in 2002 is worse off than it is right now? And what does he say? Blame Obama. But wait, wait, wait. It wasn't Obama who decided to go in there in the first place and topple Saddam Hussein and completely destabilize the region. Uh, still blame Obama. Sweet Jesus, do you have no idea what the Sunni-Shiite conflict is in the region? And also, by the way, you can throw the Kurds into that mix. I mean, Saddam Hussein, like him or hate him, the dude, yes, he was a very bad guy in many ways, just like Assad is, by the way, in Syria. He's a very brutal dictator in, in many ways, and he's very repressive. But at the same time, you know who they also fight? The right people. They also fight jihadists. Saddam Hussein hated al-Qaeda. Okay, he was a Sunni, secular, moderate leader. Yes, he was a dictator, but at the same time, he kept in check the most extreme elements uh, of radical Islam. That's just an, a stone-cold fact. So when John Bolton goes on there, and at the beginning he says, well, how dare you guys defend Saddam Hussein? It's not defending Saddam Hussein to bring up the objective fact that the region was stable before he was toppled. That's not defending him.
That's not defending him. To say maybe we shouldn't have toppled him is not defending him. It's just pointing out the fact that if we're living in a world where we are picking from the lesser of two evils, yes, you would much rather have Saddam Hussein over ISIS, a group that is jihadist by their nature, and too extreme for even Al-Qaeda. They've killed too many civilians even for Al-Qaeda. So, yes, Saddam Hussein, it is preferable. And by the way, since when is it supporting a dictator simply to point out that we shouldn't have toppled them? That doesn't mean you're supporting them. Uh, I mean, by the same token, so what is John Bolton uh, supporting the dictator of Saudi Arabia because he's not in favor of toppling the government of Saudi Arabia? Is he uh, in favor of the king of Saudi Arabia who wants to kill atheists, who wants to uh, uh, stone people who cheat in their marriages, who doesn't allow women to drive... Uh, who it, women are not allowed to go out in public and they can't show a fucking ankle, they need to be covered from head to toe. So I guess John Bolton is just supporting the, the dictator in Saudi Arabia because he's, does, he's not in favor of toppling the dictator. I mean, how many dictators are there around the world? By not toppling all of them, we're supporting them? That doesn't mean you're supporting them. And again, it's simply a matter of acknowledging facts. And the fact of the matter is, Saddam Hussein, yes, he stabilized the region. He was a bad guy in many ways, but he is the lesser of two evils, the bigger evil being either the Shiite government being in place with Maliki right now, who, by the way, he can't maintain control in the region because the Sunnis are more militant and they have a larger number in the area, right? Or... ISIS, the extremist Sunnis who will take over. And then the final thing I want to throw out there on this, uh, all you need to know about John Bolton, he's one of the biggest war hawks out there. I mean, he's up there with John McCain and Lindsey Graham. The guy never met a war he didn't like. I mean, his idea of foreign policy is just war everywhere, intervene everywhere. I'm not kidding about that. I've never heard a debate where John Bolton came out and said, I'm not in favor of going, whether it's Iran, Syria, Iraq, you name it. But all you need to know about him is when they bring up the fact, the fact, stone cold fact, that over 100,000 people died in the war in Iraq, over 100,000 uh, civilians, and he goes, what's your source for that? What's your source for that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Understand something, tough guy, okay? The numbers range from just over 100,000 to over a million, okay? Those are facts. Now, we don't know the exact number. It falls somewhere in there, depending on which organization you look at, Amnesty International, other human rights groups, uh, the UN, or, you know, uh, independent journalism groups. But it's a fact that the death rate is over 100,000. That's the most conservative number there is, 100,000. So for you to try to contest even that, it shows how not serious of a person you are. It shows that you just want to bury your head in the sand and say, we did nothing wrong, and we don't even want to get to the minimal level of objectivity of even admitting the damage that the war in Iraq did.